Barcelona? Not Madrid. Barcelona, Madrid, we left Barcelona. It was successful, that's Barcelona, but, which got iffy there for a second anyway. But, uh, <laughs> we're in Madrid. Oh, I was talking about the Renzi train like, going into that. When we was like full, full, full. Uh, so we're going to the hostel. Always, always went for a uh, It's definitely hot here. It doesn't feel as humid, but it's definitely hot. Yeah. Um, we're gonna go to the hostel and go from there, and we got three days here. So they were gonna enjoy it. I don't think it was like, okay, I want to see this, I want to see this in Madrid. So I think we're just kind of gonna go wherever the city called or where takes us. stepping in here to see how much they are. So, day one in Madrid. I pointed it at me because she's messing with the bag. Day, full day in Madrid. We're gonna go to the Madrid History Museum. And we uh, have already tried to catch a bus. When we go to the bus stop, it's closed for construction. And the other one wasn't really clearly defined, so Somebody decided we were just gonna walk. So we're gonna walk, it's only like a 20 minute walk. Um, it's a lot cooler than it was yesterday. And then we don't know what we're doing after that. It's like the first stop and we said we'll go from there. So we'll see what go from there means. If we don't get distracted by too many puppies on the way. It was so fucking awesome, it was like a fair. Right there, and we only got a little bit of video because we got told no videoing. So I'll probably include some pictures in the video that we've seen before I actually record this in the video. And now I think we're gonna grab something to eat and figure out what we're gonna
second full day in Madrid. I almost said Barcelona. Um, we're gonna yeah, go we'll grab. Stop and lick every time. I know. We're gonna go do breakfast, and we're gonna do the walking tour that our hostel puts on. And then see we're how long we last in that. See how long we last in that, and then we're gonna go to the Naval Museum, and then time depending what happens after that and then we're going to go over to the Prado Museum because it's free from 6 to 8 on Saturday. So you're going to see that. So we didn't walk a whole lot yesterday. To this Six, four, five, yeah. So maybe we do a little bit more. We're both going to be wear shorts today for this walking tour. That's sunscreen on my head. Oh yeah. She got burned on her head. <laughs> no, but it's still there. We just got done with our walking tour. It was just under two and a half hours. Well, we didn't really start until like Yeah, we didn't start on time. We started like 10 45 or something. We were leaving the hostel and then we didn't yeah. actually start until. Probably at 11. Yeah. And then uh, it was nice, I thought. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Um, dispel some myths. You kind of hear about it and learn some things about the fire. Because the fire for history people is a kind of a well known thing. And now we're gonna go grab some lunch. Yeah, 1790, right? Yeah. Destroyed a lot of Madrid. Although it's funny, like, oh, what is the red on the Plaza Mayor? Does that symbolize the fire? She's like, oh, and everywhere else, yes. Here, no. Just it's just the color we picked. Um, but that balcony over there was built for his mistress. <laughs> so. But not the actual one. Yeah, yeah, but not the actual one. Like the real reproduction we did over there. Now we're gonna go grab some lunch. We passed yesterday this place on the other side of the cathedral. We're gonna walk to. Uh, oh look. Transformers are transforming into. Yeah. And no, I think that was Teen Titans you just did. Was it? I think so. <laughs> and so anyway, now we're going to do that, and then we're going to go to the Naval Museum, and then we're giving some advice to get to the Prado Museum early because uh, it's free this evening. So we're going to do that, and then we'll see what we do tonight.
So it's our second full day, I think, in the third full day. Third. third full day in Madrid. We decided to take the bus out to uh, go for a hike. It's a lot cooler than we thought it would be. It's a lot cooler than the city. Yeah. Like she's got a long sleeve and I'm jealous. It's really quiet. Yes, <laughs> it's really nice. We've already found some wildlife down here. I saw a rabbit, we saw a, a something down there. We don't know what it was. So we're just gonna see kind of where it goes and how long we're out here. It didn't take as long to get as we thought we would. This is so. our protection plan. Yeah. Watch out, watch out, that's, watch out. That's Joe's plan to protect us. And her alternative plan is to throw me to the ground. <clears throat> the water balls for hitting Jack to the ground so I can get away, not for hitting any animals. Yeah, exactly. I would never do that to the animals, come on. <laughs> We're on the trail and I'm like yeah she says I don't always don't like this trail so we're going down to go up I'm like I don't like it because I'm getting a lot of cobwebs on me I can even see them on the camera screen and it turns out like I'm just taking the cobwebs in the front <laughs> yeah I know Just back there is the uh, training center for the Royal Guard Canines. Yeah, we just stumbled on. All because she wanted to walk over and find the dogs and we stumbled upon the canine center. There's one, I don't know if you can see the videos, it's just running back and forth constantly. And uh, I'm gonna stop videoing now because we're right outside of housing units and that's an official thing of the king, so I don't wanna get in trouble. After you already recorded it. Yeah. That was our morning hike. Wait, wait, how far are we going? Did you say? Um, I've stopped it a few times, so total today, 7.43 miles. Oh, nice. And we didn't do it very, we didn't go hard or anything, so mm -hmm. we just kind of walked. Can't go to a lot of the kind of pretty areas because they're blocked off from the controlled access military area. We also came across the uh, King's official residence. Does he look here? I don't remember. Yeah, he lives here instead of the royal palace in town. But you can't see any of it because it's all behind that wall. It, apparently there's nice parks and stuff over there, but we can't see it. So now we're going to go shower because we might have poison ivy on us. Maybe poison oak. Maybe poison oak. Maybe both. Segregate our clothes and go grab lunch. So we had lunch and a nap after the hike. We need a nap we didn't know we needed, but we did. And then we're gonna go to a bullfight because we wanted to see if there's a difference in Madrid versus Pablona. And there was one last night here, so we're gonna go. And this is the bull ring. 
so I won't record this one. But uh, it's a pretty nice building. So I won't record this one, but it's a pretty nice building. Yeah. So I wonder this time, I said I was gonna pull it out. Second time in the whole time. Yeah, second time in like three weeks. So we just got done with our second bullfight, um, which, <laughs> yeah. So, so we got to see a guy this time who fought in Pamplona the night we were there, Borja Jimenez, um, and he had to step in again. Yep. He had to step in again a second time. One of the bullfighters got taken out. The senior guy got taken out yeah. this time. So last time was an office guy. We need to look up if it's a thing. Yes. Last time was an office guy. This time was a senior guy. Borja had to stand up in both times to finish the ball off. So he did three bullfights each time. Joe fell in love with him. He's got a Twitter page. He's got a fan Instagram. Jokingly. So uh, <laughs> um, he did a lot better this time though, I think, than he did last time. Yeah. And after this. Show me this. Yes, he has got. From what we know. Yeah, for all two full fights we watched. Yeah, it was very <laughs> minimal. Uh, so now we're just finishing our drinks. And we're gonna look up to see if the confirmation, I don't know if I'm finishing mine, see if the confirmation fight was a one time thing or not. Yes, so the novice guy we saw, there's a. He, the confirmation date was today. Yes, he had, his confirmation fight was tonight, there were two. And we don't know if like he's done. Series or. Right. Uh, so, and the senior guy was actually younger than the board high guy who was the number two guy. One year. By one year, right. He was your age, not mine. <laughs> um, he's only got taken out. So we're going to look up tomorrow what happens to him. Because he, he looked like he got it pretty good. I think he just got thrown by like, jungle from, yeah. from like rewatching my live photos. But. Yeah. And after this, we're going to go back to the hostel and call it a night. Maybe tomorrow. grab something like snacks. Grab some food and then go back to the hostel. Then call it a night. Yeah. Yeah. And, and beer. This is my third beer, so. Yeah. So we're leaving the stadium, walking, looking at some statues, and these couple guys stop us. And I didn't tell you this. I met those guys at the back. Yeah. <laughs> and they said that they thought it was so cool that a couple of Americans would come here to try to learn their culture. Which and is vastly different from everything in the States. Yeah, because in the States it's a lot of like, oh, you're appropriating the culture. Yeah. When it's just I want to learn what you're what you've been through, what you're doing, why you do it, how you do it. And what the aspect is from it. And that's actually why we went in the first place, mm -hmm. was the first time. This yeah. time we'll see if it was any different. But the first time was like, if we're gonna have an opinion, we're gonna learn of it. Like we wanna go see it and understand it. And these guys- We wanna be educated about what we're doing. Yes, and these guys just said thank you to us for doing exactly that, like coming to understand their culture. So we just Anything wanted- might have been slightly high, but- <laughs> And or drunk, just like, <laughs> we're both in. Eh. <laughs> yeah, but- Hi, Mom. <laughs> but we thought it was cool to comment on that these two guys just stopped us and said, hey, thank you for, you know, coming to embrace our culture and understand it, because I guess that's they're not safe around. That's what we're here for, so. I feel like they see it pretty awesome. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not as often as we thought. Yeah. So anyway, we're at a we're at a statue here. We're gonna.